guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing really well. Well, I can say better than I was doing. Had a huge setback on this whole uh, chronic pain thing, and I've had a rough couple weeks, let me tell you. Um, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I just love it. I don't know. Okay, here we are. We are here to work on our My Year. I hope everybody's doing fantastic on their My Year. It's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. And this month we're talking about hot and cold. Now you've had all the other girls tell you all about the hot and cold, but I'm going to do a little bit different. Um, I'm working on part two, and this is, um, we talked about hot and cold, and I just gave you a little bit about things that were hot. These are my hot art supplies that I go to. Apparently it was wet when I shut it, but that's okay. I don't mind. All right, so here we go. We're going to talk about hot and cold. I've got my dilutions, six of my dilution paints on here. We've got hot, which are your yellows, oranges, and reds. Those are your hot colors. Your colds are your green, blue, and purple. Okay, so my hot colors is what we're going to be doing a lot of. My cold colors, these I'm going to represent for things that just aren't art, art, how do I say this? Um, art projects or art, uh, da, 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 I don't know the word I'm looking for, art projects that to me at this point, or art uh, projects, that I'm just like, eh, 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 I'm not interested in. It's kind of like, yeah, okay, that's that's nice, okay? So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to start with my, my cold colors, because I just want to have a small piece down here on my cold. The rest of this is going to be hot, okay? And these are the things that I love to do and that really have sparked my interest at this point. Um, something that's just, to me, I'm, I'm finding that passion. I'm finding that, oh, I, got, I want to do that. Oh, I can't wait. Um, you know, things that excite me. But first, we're going to start with the cold. So i got to grab a couple sponges, which I moved yesterday. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get couple sponges and let's get some cold colors down here um, again these are dilutions I've got cut grass crushed grape and this isn't blue it's a, a camp camp so calypso teal boy I can't even see this morning all right so I'm just gonna use a touch of these I'm not even gonna use a whole lot so I'm just gonna this is gonna be our cold area And it's funny, you think green, why is that cold? I don't know. It, I don't know why they call these green. I don't get it either. So your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> That's not anything I've learned about in the art world. <laughs> All right, this must be one of the new purples. Now, you know if you get a lot of purple and green together, it's going to turn muddy, right? Yeah, I know that. That's all right. I'm still going to do it because this is my cold area. And I'm going to use the teal. You know what? I'm going to use the blue. Hold on. Alright, let's just get the regular blue. And this is just called London Blue. Maybe. Maybe not. I know. Put Vaseline around the edges. I know. Someday I'll figure that out. <laughs> I think my headset is, uh, I've got my headset on right now listening to some music. And I think it's dying because I keep getting this blip. Blip. I'm going to cover up that purple. And we're going to redo the purple. Now, I don't consider purple a cold color. You know, like, I like purple, but does that mean I'm cold? Yeah, my thing's dying. All right, so those are my cold colors. I'm going to throw these in my water jug. And we're going to start working on our warm colors. Let me dry this up real quick. And these are our warm colors, so I'll be right back. All right, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, phone's been ringing. I can't say the dogs are barking because I don't have any dogs. Um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy today. 
So where was I at? Hot and cold. These are our cold colors. Down here are blues, greens, and purples. And these are the hots. I've got post box red, pure sunshine, and lemon zest. Pure sunshine. That's really yellow. I want an orange. How about tangerine dream? Which one do we want? Tangerine dream or... Let's do squeezed orange, so that's actually more of a yellow. I'm going to put that one back. And we've got, this one is squeezed orange, so that's the one we're going to use, all right? So here's our warm colors. And like I said, warm, I associate with um, things I like. Things that make me happy. So let's get our paints where they're supposed to be, because I'm going to have to use some out of the pots. All right, so let's start out with our red. We're gonna get our warm colors on here. Right? We're just gonna have fun playing. Yeah, there, I don't really want red paint on you. So what, what, I want you to think about what projects in your art makes you really passionate. What? Uh, you know, um, let me give you an example. Like my friend Jerry Bellini, she's all about recycling. She loves the old, the vintage, the, um, you know, it really gets her excited to use old or um, really old's not the word, vintage. It really excites her to use vintage ephemera and that kind of stuff, right? So what is it in your art that makes you really excited? Is it, um, you know, when you look at new pattern papers, do you get a lot of good ideas? Or, you know, what is it? What is it about the art that excites you? Um, I'll be honest with you, I love paints. I just, I love to play and paint. Because it's, you're going to end up with something so different all the time. I'm going to put this red right here. And, you know, paints can be used just, there's so many different combinations of colors. And combinations of you know techniques and styles I just I'm a paint I'm a paint addict hi my name is Cindy Utter and I'm addicted to paint <laughs> but um, I just love to play I love to play in paint I love to see what it's gonna do for me all right then we're gonna put our yellow here in the middle so these are my warm colors they make me happy and then I like purple too. Actually, there's not really a color I don't like. Not heat. I don't use a whole lot of orange. At least I don't think I do. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a little bit too much there. Aren't they pretty? Look how pretty they are. I like it, and I think it looks much better than that spooky stuff that was underneath it. All right, I'm going to dry this up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some stencils out, and I am going to use opposite colors on the hot and cold, so I'm going to mix them. Ugh, give me a second. All right, let me dry this up, get some stencils, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got it all dry, and I've got some stencils here. Um, these are all Gina Aaron's stencils. If you haven't checked her out or checked out her stencils, you definitely got to check them. They're really, really cool to use. Um... Gina is a friend of mine, and um, I am on her design team, and it's just so much fun when she comes out with new stencils to play with. I just love them. Oops, and that was too much. That was my fault. So let's find my baby white. I got so excited talking about it. That's my fault. I put too much paint there. So we're going to take that off. Ready? Magic. This is magic. Yeah. Magic happens. Yay! Sorry about that, guys. I'm just, I'm really, really excited today. I don't know why. You know why? Because it's the first day in a long time I've actually felt decent. So, oh, it's been kind of hard dealing with this crap lately. I'm not going to put so many on there either. Good. All right, so we're just going to have a couple stars here and there. And again, these are the, these are the cold colors, right? Now I'm going to go on to these stars, 
Now these are the warm colors, so I'm going to use the cold colors on top of the warm. I already put that away, so i got to get a clean one. Now again, these are the cold color, or the warm colors. I'm going to put the cold on top of them. They can work together, right? I don't know how much of this we're going to see when I get all the stuff I got over here on the side to put on this page. But we're going to try. Yeah, I like them. I just have so much fun playing with this stuff. I really do. I love to do it. If my body would let me, I'd stay here 24-7 and just play and paint. But, yeah, that doesn't happen. All right, I like this one, too. I don't know the name of this one, but I really like it. So, we're going to use, I don't want purple again. I want to do some of the blue. <laughs> Maybe. That's my own fault, I know, because I don't put Vaseline around the edges. That's okay. All right. So let's just throw some of these down here. Love them! Aren't they cool? All right couple up here I'm trying to stay around the edges because I know a lot of this is going to be covered up so let's go one more right here all right so there's that one all right I think that's good because what we're going to do now I'm going to dry it up and then I'm going to start showing you some of the projects and how I feel about them whether they're hot or cold so I'll be right back and now I just realized I didn't do much down here on the cold See how I kind of just left it alone? Oops. So I'm just going to throw a couple of these on here. There we go. And then I'm going to... Let's see. Let's use this guy again. No, we already used that. Let's do this one. And let's take some orange. Let's just kind of orange it. I don't know how much of it's going to stay or show through, but we'll just throw it down there. All right, so now we'll dry that part. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love these composition notebooks. It's so fun to play in them. Um, you can just, you can do anything in these books. I love them. They're just, they're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta make sure this is nice and dry because I'm gonna glue this stuff on. All right, so here's what we've got. Watercolor, hot or cold? I'm gonna say hot. Urban Sketcher, which these two are Urban Sketchers. Hot, I'm, in, I'm really into that right now. Cold, this is scrapbooking. I can tell you I haven't done any scrapbooking in literally years. So that goes down to my cold. These are just, I don't know what these all are. These are all just playing with paint. Let's see, playing with paint, which is there. Okay. Um, there's playing with paint. And then we have collage. That's a hot. And then these are just art journaling. This is a grab and glue, so that's a hot. Oop, there's another urban sketching. And these are art journals. So these are in the hot. So this is what I love to do at this point. Mm, not so much. So let's see how we can get all of this on here. Uh-huh. If not, at least maybe we can get a little bit of representing each. Let me go grab a punch. I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed a couple punches here, and I want to see if I can actually punch this out. I can't do it that way. So let's see if we can get... Oh, there's something stuck in here. I love my punches. This is another thing I really enjoy using. All right, so scrapbooking. Am I going to be able to get it? Yay, right there. Scrapbooking. All right, let's see. I've got to cut her down. Let's take my round one. There's part of it. 
Mm. Oops. Come on. Cut, you mama. Cut. Instead, it ripped it. Ew. Looks kind of rough. Do, 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 do. I don't know why that punch did that. I'm going to have to sharpen that punch or something. That's okay. It's all good. Hope I'm not driving you guys crazy. Yeah, that didn't work very well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do this. Alright, so there she is. It's okay. This is my, eh, not so great. So let's grab some glue. I'm going to use some Yes Paste just because I have, I, right now I'm addicted to this stuff. I, I love the way it um, spreads. I love the way this stuff spreads. It's just, it's crazy. Love it. All right, so we're going to put our scrapbooking down here. And again, I am not saying anything against scrapbookers. Hey, if you enjoy it, all the more power to you. Go for it. I'm just saying that um, in my, what I'm looking to do at this point in my art, um, it's not scrapbooking. So, um, I, you know, I've heard people say, yeah, well, make your mixed media. You know, you can use your mixed media techniques in the scrapbooking, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, I probably could. Do I want to? No. All right, so there is my, this is my cold. This is what I'm not, at this point, excited about. This is what I am excited about. I don't know if I dare use a stencil again. Let's try it. Get it all cleaned out. And let's see if we can get, let's take this one. Nope, this this stent, this punch is not gonna work today. Let's go find another one. Hold on guys, I'm sorry. All right, so today my uh, big punch, my big round punches aren't playing nice. So I'm not sure what the deal is. So we're gonna go with the little round ones. All right, so I'm just going to, um, Here's another thing that Urban's sketching. I'm going to use the big round ones, or the big square ones for the main, and then just get little pieces like this to kind of fill in. All right, watercolors. So let's see if we can take, this is my big one. This one's playing nice. Let's take, I don't want to do that. All right, let's do this. And these um, guys are just images that I printed off um, the internet when it comes to this urban sketching and stuff. I just went and looked for images. Um, the other is just uh, photos I've taken of my art that I just print off on my copier, on my printing. All right, so let's find the rest of this. That I might keep for something later. Garbage, garbage. All right, so this one I'm going to do a big square on because this is just art journaling and I love to play. So let's just, let's take that little piece right there. Sound good? Or should we get this little piece? Let's get this little piece. I like this one better. And you know, that's another thing. Why don't they make punches so that you can see what you're getting on top of them? That drives me crazy. I'm always holding my punches upside down so I can get what I see. Okay, this one is about stamps and stencils. Um, you guys know I love to play with my stencils and my stamps. We might get a couple round ones out of that. This one is, um, uh, this is just collage. And this is in one of my grab and glue books. That might end up going on their hole. Again, this is just art journal play. So there's that one. We might get a couple little ones on that. And this is collage. Come on, out of there. Papers, papers, get out of there. Let's just put, see, can we put her with daring? Yeah. See? Just put in what you want. There you go. 
and then if I have to, I can use the little. All right, so let's play with these. This one's a big one. I don't know if I want that one. It's not going to quite fit into the theme. So here we go. We've got watercoloring. We've got urban sketching. We have um, some collage. We have art journaling. We have painting. Um, here's my urban sketching. So let's just kind of, and I'm just looking to see how I can throw them all out. I'm not sure if I want to use that. I'm going to do smaller. Let's do smaller. There's one. There's two. I think I broke a nail. Here's some more smallers that we're going to use. And let's grab. Oops, get back here, you. Stay out of the purple paint. Be in inspiration. Look at all that texture. Love that texture. So much fun. I have a blast. When I can just get in my journal and just play, um, I think that's when I'm the happiest. I just have fun playing with paint, playing with color, playing with texture, just enjoying. Um, just enjoying. I can actually lose myself when I play. It's just, you know, I try not to think about the chronic pain, that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. All right, so let's get these put down here. How are we going to do it? This is just going to be all about me. Urban sketching. Here we go. Oops, let's put you there, you there. Now I'm just kind of laying them down. I don't want all the white on one page, and I don't want all the colored on another. So I'm just kind of playing. Um, I'm not really doing a rhyme or reason. That is the only thinking I have behind this. So I'm going to put down my main pieces. Here's one. Is you all here? In the big old city. Here's another one. Tips for learning watercolor. And the watercolor artist is Gina. She's she's fantastic at watercolor. I have a rough time with watercolor only because one, I'm not patient. Two, um, it's a total reverse psychology than acrylics. Acrylics, you go darker to lighter. Watercolor, you go lighter to darker. So it's just a different way of thinking when you pick up the paint. And that's why... What is this down so far? That's all right. Um, that's why right now urban, urban sketching is really exciting me because, um, first of all, I'm getting to sketch. And second of all, it's um, I'm using watercolors when I do the urban sketching. So... You know, I'm learning. I'm learning every time I pick up that pencil and every time I crack open the watercolor palette. So, all right, so let's put you here. I hope you guys are enjoying this my year. Um, we're actually, I want to let you know, we're in the process of coming up with 2018 um, for my year. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be another interesting year, some different developments and changes and, well, not, not crazy. So I hope you guys, you know, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, we have fun sharing with you, and we really like, um, we enjoy doing this. We really do. It's just a lot of fun. Now, compositionally, I just noticed what I did. I put four and four. Compositionally, if you go by the rules, it's supposed to be rules of three and five and whatever, but that's okay. It's all good. I am just playing, having fun. That's all that matters. Right? Whoops. Watercolor. Let's put you up here. How about right here? Okay. So all of this is just a little part of me and a little part of my art. And um, it's about the passion. And I would love to see what your take is. What is your passion in art? What really gets you excited when you start thinking about it? You're like, oh, I want to try that. I want to do that. You know, maybe it's working with polymer clay. Maybe it's crocheting. Um, you know, maybe it's, who knows? It could be anything, any type of art that you want to play with. And it really gets you excited to want to play with it. That's your passion. And at this point, my passion is... You know, paints, stencils. I'm just going to throw a couple out here by themselves. 
Yeah, I probably got enough yes paste on this page for three armies, but that's okay. Let's put you here. And then we're going to put you right there. All right, do I have anything more I want to add? Let's see. Oh, we can do a couple here. I like that one. And these are all just little pieces that I'm pulling out of the art, whatever the page may be. This one was an art journal page. Just little pieces here and there make it look cool. All right, so let's put these on. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Look at all the yes paste. I definitely can't put these papers together. <laughs> They'll never come unglued. <laughs> This one's going to have to dry overnight before I shut the pages. <laughs> I think it's funny. And I wanted to do some, uh, I wonder if I can still do some, I'm going to have to play around with this. See, now I'm thinking, I'm like, hmm, I want to do some more, uh, like, doodling on this page. Can I do it? Sure, why not? Let's put you, ooh, you didn't stick down, baby. Stick it. Got enough paste on there. All right. So now I'll just kind of, whoops. You can tell where the paste is, didn't make it underneath. Just making sure we're getting that big globs of yes paste everywhere. Like I said, I love this stuff. This stuff is not going to come off this page. It doesn't matter how how much you try to get it off now, it's not happening. And I figure I have a great big tub of it, so I might as well use it, right? I bought it for a project. Hmm. Like most supplies, don't we do that? We buy it for a project. And um, I had forgotten about it. It was actually over on my shelf that holds all my glues. And uh, I'd forgotten all about it. And I saw somebody use it. I think it was uh, Jerry. I was like, ooh, I gotta get my S paste back out. And I really like it. Okay. So here we are. This is what is my hot. This is my cold. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Now I do have to let this dry um, overnight. And then I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do some doodling on it. And then we've got the book review. And this month in the book review, we're actually gonna do a project with the book that I'm reviewing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is part two. Um, have fun. And don't forget to like, sh share, and subscribe. Definitely check out the other artists. Um, I'm sure you've seen them all month long. The um, different things that they've got going on with the theme of hot and cold. All right. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Have fun. Bye.